big up to the boys. Fox and Shane, set your minds free, no locks and chains. Do what you love, roll the dice. 50 50, we cold as ice. One thing cold, but the penny turn red. Hey, hey, let that shit go. Put my head, war gaming. Hey, what's going on, guys? You've tuned in to Hobby Homies. We are your weekly tabletop podcast. I'm Shane. As always, we're hanging out with Fox. Howdy, friends. And we, of course, are joined by Churchy. How you going, guys? Today, you've tuned in for episode 24, and we are talking about a couple of games we've played. We are. Uh, as always, this episode is brought to you by our patrons. Absolutely. Because no one else loves us enough to sponsor us, but our patrons no. do. Yep, they love us more than our parents. Or more than our parents. <laughs> Not hard. Low bar. We're terrible kids. Um, we've also got a Discord where you can chat to us. All the links in hobbyhomies.com. Yep. What are we talking about? You played some games. I played some games. You played some games. And we're going to talk about them. And you know what? As a podcast where we play games, we surprisingly play a lot of games apart from each other. Yes. Oh, you mean separate to each other. That's what I meant. Yeah, so yeah. we went from playing games together all the time yeah. to never playing games together. We realized we didn't <laughs> like each other enough to continue the game playing aspect of no, the podcast. We're not talking about the games. We can tolerate each other long enough to record in the studio. <laughs> about 45 minutes. Yeah, exactly. That's why when you hear us say, run out of time, you might think to yourself, what time? Who's why can't got you just. The clock? Yeah, why can't you just keep recording? No. It's time with each other. There's a limit. <laughs> And we're at it. <laughs> it's about 45 minutes, you're right. So sometimes we go over and that's what's broken the yeah. game playing yeah. bond. <laughs> so, yeah, I know nothing about you. I know it's a one-page rules game. Yes, yep. And that's all I know. Tell me everything. You want to know. Sell it to me right. like I'm buying it from you. Get ready, dude. I'm ready, dude. This is, this is some uh, hot hot real estate. Oh, here we go. So I've all been right. playing one-page rules Grimdark Future. Okay. Which is a fast simple rule set yeah now a lot of people think oh it's watered down 40k yeah you're not entirely wrong mm. you are somewhat right that's where i believe that it started but right. it has developed a lot okay in its process so do you think do you think this is my first impressions originally one page rules made minis do you think the one page rule aspect was an excuse to sell these minis that are quite obviously that's inspired by now, I'm not sure if the chicken came first or the egg. I'm not mm, sure if they're like, mm. we want to make these cool minis, but yeah. then give people a way to play it. Or I reckon the rules came first. Sure. And the miniatures have come from there. Because Interesting. the rules were in essentially a um, a lighter 40K. Right? Sure. I, I imagine that the creators had got sick of the bloat, yep. needing new codexes every two years, new rule books every two years. Yeah. And they've, consol they've consolidated everything down into a free rule set. That's huge. With a paid option, which gives you a few more... Um, like more like missions and stuff like that it's but, cool though that you can play the game for free and absolutely. then if you like it yeah uh, you can support them on patreon for seven bucks a month yeah you get the rules yeah for not only this one but the fantasy version as well yeah wow. also their version of like a like a space naval game cool ship ship naval sh space space naval space ship <laughs> <laughs> while we're throwing words together space naval maybe yeah. spaceship yeah 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 Wow, so for seven dollars a month, you get way more content on yep. their Patreon than you do ours. Yep. <laughs> so ca cancel this one. What are you whoa, doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go over there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sign up to both. <laughs> both, yeah, both. Let's make a cup of coffee. <laughs> um, yeah. So like, like, ideally the games go from sixty to ninety minutes, you know, yep. which is what everyone says their games go for. Most of them go for longer. Absolutely. Although from what I've played with this, basically on the nose. Really. An hour and a half. Yeah. Wow. Yep. No word of a lie. Nah. No. Nah. Hmm. full size games you know from like uh, 50 to 60 models aside so it's playing at 40k size yeah at like a 2000 just... point game size but just faster right yeah yeah so um, yeah basically like being set in a sci-fi setting I think that's where people look at it and go like oh yeah it's not got 40k sure but they've implemented their own factions their own stuff like that it's quite obvious like there are some in there that are Space robots. Space robots. Or they, they call them robot legions. Of course, legions. Um, there's Prime Brothers. Ah, uh, yes. And something other brothers, which are... <laughs> lots of brothers. Lots of brothers. Yeah. And sisters. Oh, there you go. Yep, yep. But they're, and they're, like, there's all... There's, there's basically... For every 40k faction, there's a one-page rules faction. Yeah. And then there's a few of their own. For sure. Um, their own, you can buy the models or you can print them yourself as yep. well. So. Yeah. I think you have to. Like, if you're... 
if you're making a game that is, I assume, miniature agnostic. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, if you're making that game, you have to be aware that miniatures that people are going to be using are 40k ones, yep. you know, because that's over 50% of the wargaming yep. group. Yeah. Over 80% probably have 40k models. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, you could easily supplement in, you know, some dead zone miniatures, like all man Definitely, ones, yeah. And say, like, these enforcers are now my human defense force. Yeah, which yep. is guard yeah but yeah. you know what i mean like yeah, exactly you could, you could do whatever you want there so yeah um <clears throat> yeah um it's it's still very tactical even though it's got sort of light rules okay um they've narrowed things down to i think eliminate a lot of excessive like rolling sure you, know, you basically roll well first of all alternate activations love that's that a big old that's check. a tech that's a tech that's a tech that's a tech <laughs> that's a tech for you <laughs> that's a tick um and you roll to hit yeah and, and if you hit you wound right? love that so yeah one so roll it, it, yeah one roll um they call it a quality roll which yeah I it is a which qu- is, quality roll <laughs> absolutely yeah um which is sort of your to hit in shooting to hit in melee and also like morale yeah it all uses one stat right so your models have pretty much everyone has like a six inch move Unless yep. you have, unless you are slow, then you have a four inch, or fast, then you have an eight inch. Cool, I like that. It adds just two to your move. Yeah. Yeah. Charge is a flat twelve inches. You can rush for, I think it's like eight inches or something like that. Yep. So there's a few like stock standard things across all factions. Great. Um, and then you have your save or defense mm-hmm. and your quality. Okay. So, what's nice, the defense easy. do then to the? If you said there's one roll. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so so you defense is like your save. Sure. So, so you, you do get a save. You do get a save. Cool. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. If you get hit, you can still get to save it. Sure. Um, pretty much everything has one wound, unless it has tough, then it has like three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Sure. It goes up by threes. Yeah. Otherwise, everything's basically got one wound. Okay. Um, and yeah, like... Do the factions still feel... I mean, you've probably only played, you said, a handful of games? A handful of games, yeah. Three games now, I think. Do they still... Have they got that nice balance of feeling flavorful while still like being concise rules yeah yeah definitely like so the list building aspect um is is fun like yep. you, you it's the same as as you know 40k and a lot of, a lot of other games there's gonna be a lot of 40k comparisons in this but um it's the same like you pick your loadouts you pick your weapons you can give x amount of weapons to one model of, of that group right that unit um but they still feel like if you're playing prime blood brothers yeah which is primaris blood angels right of course you still get rules that feel like you're playing them okay you know they'll have like they'll have a bonus rule for like being ferocious which is get like an extra attack on the charge yeah or that or there's other ones like the undead or the robot legions yep have a regeneration role ah right? so <laughs> reanimation protocol right? yes yeah there are even though everything is still sort of there's there needs to be a better term for watered down but it basically is watered down right yeah um it, everything is sort of very similar, but there's still enough, um, you know, uniqueness. Yeah, that's a word. Yep. To each faction with via a few special rules. So it's just a more concise, concise rule set. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. can they yeah. can have that one. I'm not going to patent that word for them. <laughs> one page rules. You're welcome. Yeah. Concise. <laughs> it is very concise. Um, it takes the rule book, which is, I mean, you know, the main 40k book is a few hundred pages, but of rules, it's only maybe what 50 i don't know who's even read I it i haven't even looked in one for a long time <laughs> yeah this however is like it's more than one page oh it's maybe 20 pages they've broken my trust <laughs> with their misleading advert well, what do you what do you want for nothing yeah i don't know <laughs> it's yeah. free I want, pa- I want one page <laughs> one page why do they i'm guessing the one page I'm, i think they do have some rule sets that are just yeah. one page right that's yeah. where the name comes from they yeah, got a couple they got, they got a few games yeah um you could concise it down into one page if you really wanted to sure you would lose a lot of you know the the fluff but that's where you get these these um enjoyable games i think there needs to be a fine line of of how complex they are yeah as and as to um you know how streamlined they are yeah they've, they've done well to find like a good happy medium yeah like. you're right absolutely because it's like the more flavorful you make it yeah it feels great and immersive but yeah. it's it's bloat you know yeah yeah it's not bad bloat no. all the time people like so many people love that experience yeah but some people who don't get to play often maybe they're more casual gamers yeah sometimes just want to be like it's been two months i don't want to learn 40k again yeah and have a yeah. five-hour game right and it can feel like that every time yeah you know have having 
um, played not heaps of 40k but a fair bit yeah I could pick it up really easily and my um, fiance she picked it up one page rules you one picked up rules. one page yeah, rules yeah, easily yeah, yeah. She picked it up really easy like yeah we've I've like tormented her a couple of times in 40k yeah and then like I was like let's try this yeah one of the homies in the discord Vumu and um, his partner Pax have been playing heaps yes right? and yeah like they love it I was yeah. like maybe Caitlin can play it yeah and yeah and she, by the end of it she was she knew what to roll she knew when to roll every time we played 40k she's like what do I do now and I'm like yeah you move it's too, it's too much <laughs> yeah yeah. yeah. but this like, one's but what do I roll and I'm like oh you see that BS there you gotta roll that BS <laughs> you gotta roll your BS <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah what for it's your ballistic skill yeah what do you mean why do they just write that <laughs> yeah but yeah. like having two rolls you know your quality roll whether you're hitting um, and then your defense roll if you're saving. Yeah, it was enough. For nice her and to, clean. To know. Yeah, yeah. She start, even started picking up psychic powers. So it uses one page rules. Uses a similar thing in 40k where you need to roll a certain roll. Yeah, for your power to go off. Right. Sure. You need a five or a six. Yeah. So you roll one two. Dice. A one dice. One dice. Yep. Yeah. So like you'll have your psychic will be like psychic one or psychic two. So it's like d6 plus whatever that is okay it's like the level of the psycho right yeah cool so something that's real powerful will have a high one just any old librarian will be psychic one so yep. it's like d6 plus one so mm. she'll be like okay so this is a five plus so the first time she's like well, what does that mean and yep. i'm like roll a dice and add one to it if it mm. beats that you're, you're in good. you're and in she's like oh yeah okay like it made sense to her yeah it's not being a war gamer great so yeah yeah like there's there's a lot of stuff there and like i mean i'm i can't even think of everything now but like I was sort of surprised every time. I'm like, huh, that, like it does that. Like they, they thought of that. They covered that. Yeah. So yeah. That was really good. That's always the sign of a well thought out game. Yeah. When you're like, oh, because you kind of expect, you know, a smaller rule set, more concise things, yeah. less popular game, all that. Yeah. You kind of think you get to a situation where you're like, oh, we're going to have to try and figure this out. And then you're yeah, like, oh, no, yeah. wait, they wrote something. They wrote what to do for that. Yeah. For that specific thing. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. really nice. That's rewarding when, yeah. when they do that. Yeah. There were no times where I was like, it doesn't, it doesn't state or it doesn't cover or, or there, we weren't just winging it, you know? Like, yeah. We didn't run into a situation where we had to sort of come up with our own stuff. It was always there and it was, you know, easy to know what to do. The way that the morale works in combat was great, like not being able to be locked in combat after every time. You tally up who, who got the most wounds. Sure. And the person that um, suffered the most wounds is the loser of that combat. Yes. Then they take a morale test, they get pinned or they flee. Yep. Um, so and so then, no one's locked in for multiple nah, turns. Yeah. 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 It's sort of like Test of Honor. Like every combat, yeah, you're, you're never you're, locked in. You're yeah. out at the end of the turn. Yeah. Um, and there's also combat fatigue as well. So if you, like, you have the option to fight maybe twice in your turn. Yeah. The second time you fight, you're, you're hitting only on sixes. Ah, right. you fatigued. Yeah. Right? You've just had a, a, a wrestle with someone had a round. going again. Yep. You know, you, if you get charged again or if you consolidate into another combat or something like that. So that was really interesting. I liked that. That's cool. Yeah. Um, and, and yeah, and like all the weapons feel like what they should feel like. Yeah. Like Caitlin was shooting plasma cannons and missing like every time. Yeah. It's like, it's like one shot, you know. Yeah. Like, it's a big old you cannon. Get, you're getting the old Laz cannon treatment there. Yeah. You know if uh, that pl plasma cannon hits though. Oh, yeah. That's good night. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. some of the special rules like blast one hit will turn into like six hits. Yeah. Uh, and stuff like cool. that. Cool. So it's very, very cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So you played Caitlin a couple times. What were your yeah. armies? What are the games look like yes. give us a little battle report so the first first game we played was a sort of a small game i think I, I made about 750 points which is probably i'm gonna say 500 points of 40k right so small, it's like very yeah, small so it's like uh, two hqs maybe two units and like a vehicle yeah something cool. like that right yeah. like like even maybe less than that um small the second game was a bit bigger i think it was about 1250 which is probably a thousand points of 40K. okay yeah um so yeah like i played as necrons both times or Robot Legions. Yep. She played as the Prime Blood Brothers. Um, yep. And, um, both times. Both times, yep. yep, yep. And beat me both times. Oh. Was it... Did she have a particular unit that you were struggling with, or... Um, I think she, just she better had a lot you? of beginners. She's just better line. than you. Oh, she's also just better than yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not hard. <laughs> um, but she had... She had a couple, of, like, a lot of good roles. Yep. Um... Not going to say it was all the dice. It was definitely her, so her dreadnought. All oh, right, <laughs> or her robot. your dreadnought, your yeah. chunky boy. Yeah, behind like, us. Yeah, yeah. Her attack walker. I'm, I'm going to grab him. All right. Yeah. Um, 
So that, and it's like, and it can shoot with every weapon it's got, you know, in its shooting phase, and it can fight with every melee weapon it's got in its fighting phase. And it's painted um, beautifully, so you know it's going to be better. Yeah, of course. Um, it's Caitlin's now, don't thank me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, like, it started off as any normal game starts. We roll off a deployment. Yep. You know, we deploy, um, and then alternate actions, which is oh, so, good. so good. It is yep. so good. You know, you're constantly thinking... You know, you, everything's changing as you go. You're not moving everything, yeah. You know, shooting everything, and then just copying all these hits. You know, yeah. it's like it's one after the other. It's it's it changes honestly, the game. It yeah. does. It's oh, man. It's just how war games need to be. I think. Yeah, these days. Absolutely, and because yeah. like it does, you sort of have a plan. Like at the start of your turn, you've got an overall plan. Yeah. But it's like whoever it is, Mike Tyson or whatever said. Yeah. Everyone's got a plan until they get punched in the face, <laughs> and. So, like, if, if Caitlyn activates one of her units on the right flank yeah, and you've got one sitting there that you were hoping to shoot with, yeah, you kind of go, oh, well, I can still shoot with it. Yeah, yeah. But I don't need to do it now no. because she's already activated that unit. Yeah, it's the activation game. Yeah, So yeah. you go, all right, what's my next priority? Well, she's activated yeah. that unit, so I can go over here and get this really important thing, so then you do that, but then Caitlyn's got the same thing where it's like, oh, yeah. now Shane's activated that unit. Yeah, yeah. So I don't have to worry about shooting that. Yeah. There was a couple of times I was like, like, because I had my wraith, so I, like, ran up the board, mm. and I'm like, are you not going to shoot at them? And she's like, they've already gone this turn. And I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, that's when you knew you were in trouble. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. oh, no. She's out. I'm not going to be able to walk all over her this time. No. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, oh, like, and there were so many times, too, where it was, like, I, like, it was all the dice, you know, like, it, and it, it was going one way, and then it was going the other way. A couple yeah. of times I was like, oh, geez, like, you know, I've just destroyed a whole unit here and I've killed that HQ there. Yeah. Like, like, what do I do? Do I ease up or do I just keep going? And then yeah. and I'm like, okay, never mind. I need to yeah. just wipe this half of the table. Uh, <laughs> should have put my foot on the throat <laughs> yeah. when I had the chance. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So it's just like, it's just a fun, I wasn't sure about it. I was kind of like, yeah, is it just a, a, a water down 40 K or not? But yeah. Loving it, man. Loving like it's a, a breath of fresh air into the rules. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Things aren't as you know unique. You know your Necrons aren't uh, as Necrony as they could be. Right. They don't have whatever. command protocols and no, no. The, but the, Katan but there are, powers and there are really cool things you can give to your leaders to make them psychers or um, you know there's there's one for Necrons where they can deny psychic powers but they, they can't cast them but they can deny them. Yeah. Um, there's different abilities you can give your leaders to give them, you know, plus one on the shooting or plus one on the fighting or whatever. Yeah, cool. Like there's little, there are a lot of little things like that. Sweet. So you've still got a bit of a feel for like you can do your customization and make it feel like your yeah. army, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. Because you, you can look at what model you've got and you can kit them out to be WYSIWYG. Yeah. You know, you can look at your Primaris captain and be like, this is a master blood brother. Yeah. He's got a, you know, auto heavy rifle. Like, yep. they've they've named things, so you kind of like... Get the idea of... Get the of, idea yeah, of what yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. You know, you can give them like a, like an energy fist or, a, you know... Yeah, that's chain cool. Chain sword sword or whatever. Yeah. Like, there's like... Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's very cool because we got a lot of people. Yeah, I had never thought of Grim Dark Firefight. Is that what it's called? Grim Dark. Um, Grim Dark Future. Future. There was also a Firefight, which is like the the skirmish version. Right. Kill I, team, basically. Sure. Yeah. I'd never even thought of one page rule stuff at all until Pax and Vumu yeah, posted about yeah. it in the Discord. Yep. And I was like, oh, so like the way Vumu was talking about it, I was like, it's got, m I can tell it's got more in it than I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, especially with some of the write ups they did. So I yeah. was like, that is cool. And then you start playing. I was like, I can't wait to to do this episode yeah. and hear about it. I was like, deliberately yeah. not going to ask anyone because I was like, I want to know what's involved. And yeah, how much, because I worried about that balance of it. Is it yeah. so simple that it's like, oh, yeah, I'm playing Necrons, but you, you wouldn't know. Yeah. I'm playing yeah. generic sci fi robots but my stats are the same as yours so whatever yeah you know? nah like I, I thought the same thing I yeah. was kind of like is it going to be just a uh, generic and it's, is it just going to be same same and just the roll off wins you know like yep. how's it going to play but no there was enough um, enough you know uh, variation to everything and like individuality yeah. to your models yep. to your units to, to, to make a yeah really fun game yeah like, yeah, um, that's awesome. Yeah, well, I should send you the. Um, there's an online list builder as well. Oh, sweet! Which is just free as well, than, probably better than GW have ever done for anything. Yeah, it's free. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so you can make an army. Maybe we can. I don't know. Play a 
maybe a 3,000 point game will be like a 2,000 point game. But yeah, but it'll probably be a quick game at least. It'll still probably I'm keen to play, like man. Hours, yeah. yeah, we could do a little burr, burr report. Burr, 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 burr report. <laughs> yeah, or play through. Yeah, we do, we do one or two. We've done one or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah. yeah, that'd be really cool. Yeah. So, um, yeah, fun, free. I can't. I can't put enough emphasis on the free part. Like, yeah. The free part alone was the fir- our first two games. Yeah. And I was kind of like, I'm just going to get the book, like the full yeah. book. Like, How, what's it cost, the book, you reckon? Oh, well, it's seven bucks a month. Oh, right. And you get the full the full rule book, which you get an extra 10 or so pages, which is more like missions and deployment and stuff like cool. that. Cool. It's not, it's not like there's any rules that are hidden behind a wall. Yeah. Um, sure. You can play the game now for free. Yeah. But if yeah. you want to add flavor to it. Yeah. Yeah. You add a bit more flavor. You give yourself a bit more of a mission, like a, a, a campaign. Sure. A narrative. Yeah. But like you say so for the seven bucks, we're, we're not sponsored. Or I'm, I'm not trying to like, yeah. Like I just yeah. love this. Right. But yeah. like you get the, you get the Grimdark future and the skirmish mode. Yeah. You also get the, I think it's called age of fantasy and age of fantasy skirmish or something like that. So you're getting like four, Oh, and then the spaceship naval fleet. Oh, so you get all, access to all the books. Five games. Yeah. Five full books. Seven bucks. Seven bucks. Download it all, then cancel. You could if no, you want oh, to. Yeah, or stay or on stay. there and support them <laughs> and if support you're enjoying them. it. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And 14, you get access to all their models, which are insane. There's ones that are called Jackals. They're kind of a bit furry, but I dig them. I think I've seen the Jackals. Do they look like Halo Jackals or do they look more like Halo they look Brutes? Like they're kind of like slender halo brutes yeah they're furry but they're the furry elites yeah 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 pretty much. And i they're remember sick oh they're so cool i remember seeing them and thinking halo when i saw them yeah. specifically the jackals because yeah. some of their models are incredible yeah like yeah i won't even talk about the models just go <laughs> go to their are they mostly on my mini factory i think that's where they host i think so yeah, yeah. but like check out their patreon yeah just absolutely look like yeah yeah once you got those files you can send them to your mate who has that resin printer yeah Whoever, Ollie, yeah. Goblin's Forge, whoever, <laughs> whoever you find, That's just it. find someone near you. Smell the resin. You, you'll hmm. smell it. Yeah. yeah, you'll find it. <laughs> Get them to print your stuff. Yeah. That's so, really cool. Oh, man. It is. It's just such a, a fun, quick game. Yeah. Mm. Great. Yeah. You'll, you'll notice we, but particularly me, I do this a lot. I want to know how you feel about the game now in yep. terms of like, where does it stack up with are you going to be playing is this do you see this as your main game is this your like for now your replacement for 40k because you're you play infrequently mm. you you opt to go for that like where is it on your radar what do you rate it out of 10 where do you put it and yeah. i want to know this that i do it a lot <laughs> yes, and it's do. because it captures how you feel about the game now you okay. know it's not always true right you might be like this is the main game yeah, it's the only thing i'm going to yeah. play for two months yeah that might not be true but that's how you feel about it so that's yeah. why i ask not because yeah. i'm digging you a grave that you'll can't <laughs> dig out of or promises you won't keep well i can't the thing is it's it's an awesome game i love playing it i also love playing it with caitlin because she loves it yeah um i can't see it becoming the main game down at throw the dice or at golf sure. or wherever right i yeah. can't see it happening so i couldn't say it's it's the main game yeah i would love for us to play it sometime on the channel yeah the church involved yeah let's do um, it super easy but like yeah i dig it man yeah. i would i would play it more than 40k if i could yeah yeah why is it just the accessibility or the nature of the fact that it's like free miniature agnostic like why couldn't you just go to throw the dice, find a random to play against? Because oh, chances probably are, could. yeah, you probably could. You know, you could probably tear up with someone. You yeah, know, be like, hey, have you got forty k models? Yeah, sweet. Let's play this version. Yeah, you know? like, yeah. And like, I, mean, I suppose that being said too, like where one page rules Grim Dark Future lacks is their narrative and their campaigns. They haven't. They've only got a handful of missions, right? Yeah, sure. It's like the main six out of the rule book. That's it. Yeah, which is what we played for seventh for the whole of seven that's right? it we didn't know there was other rules we didn't know there was other books with with campaigns and yeah. other stuff like that we just played these one of six missions right mm. but like you could easily implement something else into that and yeah like you know like it's it would not be hard yeah you still have objectives you know you could you could just yeah you could just change the main rules of the game yeah and still do your secondaries and still do all that yeah still do all the scoring the same yeah yeah and just Take yeah. a generic sci-fi universe that has similar gameplay to 40k or yep. this. Just grab the missions from that and adapt. Is yeah. What you're saying. Yeah. You could grab. I remember you bought. Was it a book or a white dwarf or cards? Something from like seventh edition 40k. It was like on sale because we're now in ninth. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it has a heap of cool missions in it that you could easily adapt for 
one page yeah. rules i think it was cards it was the psychic storm and, or something like that and it had yeah. like yeah different like it was like mission like events that happened during the game yeah 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 that's cool but yeah you could like you could, and you could you know just because like this was i think originally intended as a, a light of 40k like you could still use any star wars models in yeah. it yeah you could yeah. have mantic you, stuff yeah mantic stuff you could have you could have anything in there yeah so yeah any sort of you know larger scale war game yeah yeah cool so first impressions out of 10 seven and a half yeah it's pretty good solid pretty solid. good it yeah is solid it's, it's got flaws of course nothing's perfect yeah nothing's a 10 out of 10 yeah but it um yeah yeah very solid yeah yeah awesome so yeah i've been playing a bit of that i want to play more but what what did you play star wars legion oh, i know <laughs> yeah <laughs> so star wars legion is a funny one for us because it's obviously a star wars game yeah and so it's immediately on everyone's radar yeah, yeah. every war game is like oh what's the star wars legion about star wars. then so are you saying there's a 40k but it's star wars <laughs> i'll have some of that yeah. <laughs> um but for us it has always been a weird one like i think the amount of times we've said why don't we play more star wars legion mm. i think we said it on the podcast like 90 times we, at least at least yeah and we always just couldn't figure it out we had we wrestled with some ideas so anyways ages ago <laughs> I had a collection of rebels that were all built and I was like, I just want to smash these out and paint them. Yeah. I just want to yeah. get them done. So I sat down in two nights and painted all of them. You did. You knocked them all out. I can't remember how either, which is a shame because I- Contrast. It wasn't though. Wasn't it? It wasn't. No, oh. I didn't use a single contrast. Oh, shit. I think I just basically turned existing paints. I used four different colors. Yeah. And so I went- round with a somber gray and hit like random parts so his trousers his cape his yeah, and i'd yeah. go back in with a brown and his pants and, and just mixed it all up and just batched it that way yep. nice um one thick coat on all of it with just regular yep. paints and then dry brushed anyway oh, shit. took no time i think i averaged i remember it was four and a half minutes per model wow yeah after because it was batched and yeah, i just divided yeah, it by whatever yeah. um nice. and then this th and then i spent a third day and like a week after doing the bases yeah. and that was it yeah and that was ages ago. So I had a fully painted rebel force yep. that just sat there and collected dust. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> through two moves. Through two moves. Yeah. It did survive two moves. Yeah. yeah. So, which was crazy. You know, that I just, we just never touched it. Nah. Because I thought when I painted it, that's going to be the motivation I need to play more games. I feel like it's my fault for not painting my um, Imperials. Look, if you had your imps painted, <laughs> maybe we would, but there's no reason we couldn't have played unpainted. Exactly. So yeah. there was just something that just wasn't, wasn't the right time. Yeah, wasn't the right season. Yeah, yeah. Other things were, anyway, so Star yeah. Wars Legion. Star Wars Legion. It is a Star Wars game for those that know little or nothing about it. What's in the name? Yeah. Yeah. And it's. <laughs> It is a full-scale war game. It's typically played at 800 points. And what that looks like is probably 30 models. Yeah. yeah. So it's definitely smaller than, say, 40K. Yeah. So it's um, like a couple of units of, like, they're, no, they're not 10s. They're not 5s. They're 6 and 7? Yeah. No, it just it varies. Sometimes oh, they're 4, it? 5, or 6, depending on. Yeah. Some yeah. of them bare bones at 4. Yeah. Then you can add an extra trooper and then a special weapon, and you end up with 6 or 7. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but, like, a tiny little squad is four maybe five yeah yeah um but yeah it's cool because you can always add that's what I, I really like about legion we'll talk about list building in a sec yeah but i do like that you can get a rebel squad a little squad of rebel troopers yeah and then you can buy some separate miniatures that like are like officers oh we took i took it home yeah you used it's them. like a little uh medical droid and whatever yeah yeah they could be their own units or you could slap them in to these rebel squads yeah. and they're attached to that and give it bonuses and become an yeah. extra trooper or whatever so that's cool but yeah so it's it's nice it's really accessible in terms of the model count yeah so uh a lot of locals are just sort of kicking it up i think kenobi the tv series oh, has really yeah. ramped up yeah, the star wars thing life into it. yeah yeah and so did uh like the other two mando and boba fett those two things um but so scenes have started to open up skirmish games which are 500 yep. points and that's super accessible that's See, like to, sorry Ginger, no you're right like for a full size game to be considered 800 and a skirmish to be considered like 500 yeah it feels like skirmish is still a quite a large size game yeah 
No, like, it's not. Yeah, but, it, but each model yeah. act, doesn't act independently, do they? No, That's no. Still, that unit still correct activates together. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So if you look at any of the core sets, which are they've got two core boxes at the moment. Yeah. Uh, the first one is Rebels vs Empire, which is what we split. We split it. You back went Imps, I went Rebels. Yeah. Yep. Back when it first came out, actually. Yeah, I picked the uh, Heroes of the Galaxy. Yeah, and then I took yeah. them off you, and then you chose the Imps instead. And then the second box <laughs> is. Uh, Separatists versus Republic, so droids versus clones yeah. for the Clone Wars era. Yeah, yeah, and each of those halves are about five hundred points. Yeah, near enough. Yeah. So that, like, if you go to those boxes, it gives you an idea. You get one character usually, yeah, two two troops, and then one other thing, be it like, a walk or a speeder bikes or whatever. Speed bike. Yeah, or yeah, droid yeah. Decker. Droid decker. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a five hundred point game. So it's quite small. You've got maybe four or five activations. Yeah, true. Yeah. Um, and then you add another. Usually you add a bigger vehicle now yep. for the extra 300 points between the two games and then oh. and then maybe four or five more troops. Like an ATST. <sighs> yes, like an ATST. Or like they've got so many vehicles now, it's awesome. Yeah. Especially the Separatists have like the big crab droid, droid oh. with the funny nose and then the snail the, droid. The snail droid is yeah. my favourite one. And then the um, the Federation like, oh, what is it? AT, it's not ATRT. Uh, it's a... Uh, I forget what it is, but it's like the the yellow vehicle looks like a almost like a, a wraith from Halo, but it's yellow. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, I'm yep. blanked on yep. it. Yeah, but yeah, so all the factions have these really cool big vehicles. So, you know, you've got your rebels. So you've got uh, characters like Leia and Han Solo and Luke and yeah, all that. And then you've got uh, imps, which have like all the dirty imps. Vader. Uh, Imperials. You got Vader and and, and the, Stormtroopers uh, and all the like officers and all that. I can't even think of their names. Yeah, Krennic. You got Krennic yeah, as well. And, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, it's just really cool because it's the Star Wars IP and the characters you know and love. Yeah. And there is, you know, I complain in 40K how there's like a heap of named characters. You can play this game with just generic Rebel Officer. Yeah, yeah. And it's really cool because then you're like, oh, I'm not playing. It's hard because the, the named characters are really <laughs> bloody good. Yeah. But you definitely can just play. Yeah. I mean, uh, you can't have an unnamed Vader, but you can have an unnamed Imperial officer. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 It's really cool. And the the newer stuff, the clones and the Separatists look incredible. Yeah. There's a fifth faction coming out, uh, the Shadow Collective. Oh, yeah. Um, Is that Pike Syndicate? Are they all in yes. that? Yeah. 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 So everyone. Yeah. And it's all centered around Darth Maul yep. and his... Uh, I don't know his yeah him and his mates <laughs> yeah. yeah which is cool like all the bounty hunters and yeah but they've started to do cool I mean they've always done cool stuff you can get Wookiees and include them in either yeah. Rebels or Republic yeah um, but they've got a whole faction now that are mercenaries yeah, yeah and so you can put some of those in your Rebels or whatever and loan them out and hire them and yeah whatever so the game is alternate activations which is great so bloody good it has cards right it, and you have like pips on the card and like yeah is it the lower the pips the less activations you get but the better chance of going first uh yes kind of yeah yeah well play. done we played once <laughs> two years ago you reckon yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably. and that Golf, was, was that yeah Golf? it was at Gulf Werribee yep and I so blue take my storm to their base and they just kept like falling over yes <laughs> I remember that and I super glued all my stuff to its base so I could snap them off later which yeah. worked so that's good <laughs> nice um yeah, that was that was good fun, yeah. and that that was the thing about it. We played it. We'd yeah. gone. This is real, this is a lot of fun, <sighs> and then we never touched it again. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the time away from it. Yeah, a lot. You know, it's like, you know, distance make the heart grow fonder. Yes. Or you get distracted. Yeah. And go after something else. Yeah, we did we both. Definitely did the latter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we 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 got distracted by something else, and and my love for this game grew fondly. In fact, yeah. before this little uh, five hundred point skirmish that I played on the weekend this tournament uh, at Throw the Dice. Before that, I'd even said, I think, months ago that I wanted Legion to be one of my main games for you this did. year. Yeah, you did. So... I it, was like, why what? Legion? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I was that. like, I just kept looking at the models on my shelf and I'm like, it's Star Wars. It makes sense, man. Cool as heck, painted, yeah. sweet. Yeah. Um, we were going to go to to Throw the Dice um, to play a game before your tournament yes to warm um, me up because I hadn't played no <laughs> didn't want to no. go on the tournament dry yeah, yeah. We, and we both were like ah uh, we can't really get there so yeah. you just had to just dive into your tournament with yes. no game under your belt correct <laughs> had no idea what I was doing yeah. uh, it was a beginner friendly tournament thank goodness yep. Um, yep. but 
yeah, uh, it was great. One of the homies uh, came down from the Netherways, Rutherland. Rutherland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Drove all the way down. So I got to play against him in the first round. And we had a beer with him Friday night. Which was great. Oh, so so the night before the tournament, we choked yep. down a few bevs yep. Um, yep. at the most... Uh, we had to welcome ghetto. him to Geelong. Yeah. <laughs> yep, he was in a ghetto burb, so we took him to a ghetto... Pub. pub yeah you couldn't even say it. It was, we took him to the pokies basically where they allowed <laughs> the you to have lines, beers yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it was good um, so good so you just got to dan murphy's and just drank on the oval or something legit like that. that would have been less ghetto than what we did absolutely yeah um so that was cool having beers with penny and then yeah. playing against him in the first round oh that's so good. and he taught me the game basically yeah uh, and, he, and then you spanked him and I spanked him <laughs> apparently I didn't think I was spanking him that hard but I mean no one say no to a good spanking but that's I immediately just like fell in love with the game and I yeah. think when we played it the first time we were still like we hadn't played a, a ton of war games no, maybe no we hadn't we don't that was the second game we played from 40k I'm pretty sure yeah exactly and we knew it was good It was, but we, I was like is it good is it just good because it's different now yeah. we've played a ton of different games I've been exposed mm. to a heap of different war games and so when I played this I was like this is fantastic Fantastic! It was so good playing mm. it. Like so alternate activations was cool. The command yeah. cards, uh, as you said, you build your little deck of seven. Yeah. So everyone has one that's exactly the same, but based on the commanders that you take, oh, it yeah. changes what cards you can shuffle in and out of that deck. Yeah. So you actually have a hidden like they don't know what you're taking. Could someone well versed in the game be like, yeah, he's got Vader. Yeah. He's going to have these four command cards. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, they definitely could. Yeah. And there will be that cat and mouse. And there will be things like, I think if you take Leia, there's just uh, one that's like orbital bombardment and it's a no-brainer. Yeah. So you can kind of look at the table and go, I see Leia's set up. She's got line of sight of those three things. It's a three pip and they don't have anything that makes them really want to go first. Yeah. So they'll probably play, play that. that. So good news is I can play a, one of my two pips and at least move one of those units out of the way yeah and then the orbital yep. bombardment gets weaker so you got this cool just, cat mouse. just calls in a tactical nuke absolutely yeah, yeah. nuclear launch detected <laughs> <laughs> and and that's it it hit me once that was penny yeah penny bombed me <laughs> yeah so anyways the, it, it is cool you're right so the, the the way you decide initiative for that turn yep. is you play these cards both face down and reveal them at the same time yeah and they usually have a pip yeah one through four and mm-hmm. whoever is lowest is the person who goes first. Yeah. Now, that just means you get to activate one unit first. So, it's, oh, okay. it's not an insane advantage. Yeah. Uh, usually, it is important. I remember, like, sweating so many games going, yeah, I know it's just one unit, but I need that unit to go first. Because <laughs> if yeah, it doesn't, yeah. Penny is going to activate that and just wipe it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, the abilities for them are usually worse if their initiative that is better. Okay. So if you got a one pip, you're like, yeah. yeah, I'm guaranteed to go first. But it's something shit. It's something shit. Yeah. 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 Not re- like it's just not as good as yeah, yeah, what yeah. a four pip maybe. What's an example of something that's like one pip? Is it like an extra move or an extra shoot or is it not even that good? Usually what it is, is you, as you mentioned uh, activations, it usually allows you to act like your command cards say you can, you've got a token stack yeah, and you draw from this re- stack randomly. And if the token is a core token yeah you can then go and activate a core unit oh i do remember doing that yeah and yeah, if you activate yeah. if you pull out your commander token you can go yeah. activate your commander yeah but the stack is to? you have to you have to yeah yeah except these command cards allow you to usually it'll say two core units on it and so uh-huh. that means you pull out two core unit tokens and put them face up yeah and then at any turn instead of drawing from that stack you can choose to you can choose to activate one of those yeah yeah so usually the the things with the lower pips aka better initiative yeah uh will only allow you to activate one or two yeah and it will be more specific whereas th- like a three pip may say three troopers yeah. which could be core leader you know they all basically if they're on they got feet oh, they count infantry. as troopers yeah effectively yeah yep. right okay so you get a bit more uh and yeah usually their rules are a little bit better if they're yeah, yeah. but i mean yeah. I've, I've played two games so if i'm wrong <laughs> it's penny's fault it's penny's fault <laughs> it's definitely penny's fault um but yeah that's yeah. that's that's how i remember it playing that's yeah, how the command yeah, cards yeah. worked nice that's fun but yeah it, it is fun because like the alternative act- activation you get you get to get in that activation game where it's like oh yeah. 
I was really sweating to activate that unit, but now that he's already shot it and killed half of it, yep. the damage is done over there. Yeah, so yeah, let's yeah. try and find an equalizer yeah. to make that not feel as bad. It's an interesting it's an interesting turn to uh, already something which is not not unique, but you know, the alternate activations like like when you say alternate activations you go, Oh yeah, sweet. This yeah. is like uh, it's like a one up on the standard alternate activations. Like, yeah, it's just like yeah. another another layer to it, which is it is. Nice. It's yes, it's alternate activation, but it's do you draw randomly yeah. uh, what that is? You, yeah. And you still got that element of, oh man, I really need my support unit to go. Yeah. But I've only got one support unit in my stack of seven or ten chips. Yeah. And I played a little low pip, so I didn't get to choose. No. Uh, so yeah, you've got to wrestle that battle. Do I go for put a bunch of face up tokens? Not to mention there's things that can, if it's got a face-up token, some th some things with special rules can yeah. do supporting fire. Okay. So you could shoot uh, a unit with your clone troopers, for example, yep. and then flip over this face-up token to spend its activation for it to help out fighting ah, nice. and lend its gunfire, but then it yep. costs you two, yep. but you're getting much, big dam much yeah. bigger damage yeah, output. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's also, there's also a thing called, it's it's basically Overwatch. Yeah. Um, I think it's called Standby. Okay. So you can activate your thing and say, I'm on Standby. Yeah. And if any unit moves within, I think it's within range two, moves into your line of sight, you get yep. to shoot at it. Yeah. So then you can have this little interaction in your opponent's turn if you want to just position well. So people do that all the time. I started to really use that in my second game where yep. I was basically like, I don't want to expose myself to shoot you. Mm -hmm. I'll stand here and hold the corner. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And you'll eventually have to come to me because of the mission. Yeah. So that's really cool. Another part that's cool that ties in with all of that yeah. is that everything gets two actions. Yeah. So it can be move and shoot. It can be move and move. It could be shoot and then stand by. Okay. Yeah. It can't be shoot and it can't be attack, attack. So, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Some are, you can only use it once. Attack and stand by is still pretty good though. Yeah, I don't even know if you could do that. Oh, I assume. confirmed it. Yeah. Oh, it's 100% guaranteed. guaranteed. I'll be having <laughs> guarantee on that one. <laughs> so, but there's all these different mechanics. And yeah, if you were to throw it all at someone at once, yeah. it'd be overwhelming. Yeah. But it naturally reveals itself during a game. Like it yeah. flows really well. Yeah, yeah. Um, because I learned all like dodge tokens, uh, token sharing. I learned all these different elements of the game over two games, and it just yep. felt, you know, it almost felt like there was as many rules as the more complex games. Yeah. But it just came easier. It made more sense. It rolled in, so it was phenomenal. The rule set's phenomenal. Yep. It's just, and I think seeing so many different armies, like there was, it was a, it was an eight player tournament. Yeah, yeah. I think there was four rebels three republic and one separatist so no imperials i think tricky played imperials in the last round oh yeah yeah did he sub in for you he subbed in for me so you played two games out of a three game tournament yes i did and where'd you score on yourself on the ladder i came third <laughs> i came third <laughs> you just, you're like i don't need to play the last game <laughs> I, i've already placed i actually did not think that was the case at all uh, i had no idea i i was devastated to have to leave yeah. in the third round oh, of course because i wanted to see like, was I going to get stomped? You could have taken the top, dude. How far away was the best player there from me? I wanted to know. Um, having said that, the second game I got decimated. Oh, really? But I played the mission. Well, that's all you need to do. Hide that Skyweaver over in the Yeah, <laughs> I did, man. I, ha I had one little trooper left from a squad. Yeah. Sprinted down there in that corner. <laughs> cowering and cowering. Corner. And then the officer sprinted and followed him. Yeah. And I both, on their turn, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, they're in a little nook yeah. in, a, in, a, in the edge of the map that yeah. he would have had to. So what I actually was trying to do is not play the mission originally is he had fewer, stronger units. Okay, yeah. And I had many weak units. So yep. he was like, why have many unit when, when few do the few trick? Do the trick, of course. <laughs> and so I was like, what I need to do is spread him out because they were so close, they're all token sharing. Yeah. So I sprinted those and just made them a pest. Yeah, I was like, yeah. he has to deal with them. I was yeah, going to yeah. score three points. Yeah. Um, so they just hit over in the corner and I knew that would... Then, uh, then I set up a few things in standby waiting yep. for him to eventually go over there and deal with it. Yeah. And then once he committed just a little bit too hard there... I sent other remnants of what was left because <laughs> he left crumbs everywhere. He just oh, blew me apart. That's his fault, though. Yeah, he should have left the crumbs. Yeah. A little squirrel like me, I live off them crumbs. <laughs> so then, once he committed sort of to the other side of the board where yeah. that officer and other dude were, I sent, I sprinted other things down the other flank. Nice. And nice. then it was a mission where you had to, you scored points based on how many objective, uh, how many unit leaders. Yep. 
you had in the deployment zone. Oh, okay, cool. And because your unit leader dies last, all yep. my remaining things are just little unit leaders just trying to get in there. Yeah, nice. So it was great fun. Yeah, so I, 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 I won two games. I mean, I feel bad because Penny basically ta- taught me how to beat him. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he was so good at teaching me the rules and yeah. gave me suggestions. Yeah. And I actually, because I just took all infantry. Yeah. It's, it, it's a big activation game. So, you know, if you rock up to this thing and someone has five activations and you've got eight, yep. it's a big advantage. Okay. Because it means, you know, when they finish, you've then got three back-to-back turns. Yeah, yeah. Um, which yep. in this game is huge because I learned as I played throughout the games is it's l- less about killing shit. But that's, that's a pitfall that they choose to take when they're building their list yeah right. correct they, they go well yep. instead of having you know yeah seven units i'm only going with five or four yeah yeah but they're strong yeah so they're gonna they're gonna make that sacrifice yeah 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 and the last guy i played against who was also equally as good at teaching me the rules was damien and he taught me how to play against clones and he just made it feel he, he the same thing he just introduced the rules slowly yep. as he used them yeah and it was natural and it was awesome and his he was that i think he had maybe five activations i think or it felt like five not many yeah but so his goal is he just had to blow me off the table and yeah. bring my activations down to okay. five or four yeah and he just happened to roll i mean my pathfinders which i used Jin Erso and pathfinders was my yeah. list yeah yeah as it always will be yep <laughs> um and they're real tanky so they just happened to like have that one trooper surviving in each squad yeah which was unfortunate because if he had to kill them <laughs> I couldn't have done nothing. No. So, but yeah, something that's like in, super important is suppression. Yeah. Because yeah. if you roll a hit, you suppress them. Yep. Like you put a suppression token on them. So you don't even have to kill them. You don't even have to damage them. No. If They're pinned, basically. Yeah. If you yep. roll a hit, they get that token on them. Yeah. Now that doesn't matter too much, but when you shoot them again, you put a second token on them, that can matter a heap. Okay. But if you put a third one on, no boy, that no. puppy's just at least losing an action on their turn, yeah. which is huge. They're crapping themselves. They are. I remember yeah. uh, Damien had like five uh, suppression tokens on one of his jump squads. Wow. Because I was just like, I can't kill it because it's in cover, but yeah. I can roll hit dice. Yeah. And then at least I get something. <laughs> and so every so turn... Does he, like, does he lose any models due to morale or anything like that? Or they they just sit there and do nothing? Like, is yeah. it activating do they remove tokens or how does that work yeah so in their turn for every token you got you roll these white dice yep. any shields that show up you take that many suppression off and that's it and then that's it basically and yep. so if you then have more you've got like a courage value yeah yeah yeah. if you've got suppression tokens equal to or greater than your courage value yeah you lose an action you're okay. suppressed yeah if you have tokens uh equal to or greater than double you panic or whatever it's called and you move towards the closest table edge and if you come in base contact you you die oh yeah they flee they flee which what's interesting is that it's the closest table edge it's not yours it's not theirs it's It's whatever so will they run like out of cover into open area yeah straight to the nearest table beeline shortest possible route to the table edge yeah so yeah it's it's great but it's yeah it's more about just like slapping them on making them lose an action yeah because losing an action is huge. Yes. Yeah, all they do is sat there, sit there and shoot. Yeah. That's it. Then, you know, they're not generating an aim, which is another no. thing you can do. Yeah. Lots of cool stuff you could do. I just, I loved it. Yeah. Absolutely loved it. Considering I went in like as dry as you could. Yeah. A little newbie like, oh, I was building my, I didn't know you needed command cards. I forgot about them. <laughs> no. Rubbaging through my stuff. Like, I swear I have command cards in here somewhere. Yeah. Trying to make a deck. And I'm like, wait, that, that says this person. So I can't use that where's Jin Erso's cards yeah. reading them I'm like what does that mean <laughs> so I'm just like oh, I'll just take them yeah. yeah and then my little equipment I was like I was scrambling so it was a sweaty start to the tournament Sounds it. but it was Sounds the it. it was the funnest tournament I've ever been in by far nice. I've only been in what two or three two. or whatever but yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, three. yeah so yeah it was great loved it so out of ten what are you going to give it I mean, right now, it's hard to give it anything other than You're a on nine. Post tournament hot. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I yeah, give yeah. it a nine out of ten at the moment. If you had to like look at it from like a from a realist point of view, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just pre-ordered. There's a new the new faction. 
um, the Shadow Collective. Oh, yeah. Here's something cool that they're doing. Yeah. Starter boxes. I, I pre-ordered one. Did you? Yeah. Which ones? A- imps. Yeah, of course. Yeah, All so good. ATST, dude. Yeah, so good. And another Vader for some reason. <laughs> yeah, you never have enough characters. Pose them differently. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the starter boxes are amazing. Like, yeah. such good value. Uh, it's just like you buy it and then you can play. Yeah. I think there's probably 800, there's 800 points, I would assume, in those. Maybe. Judging by what is in the... Yeah, it has to be. But they probably didn't do that deliberately nah they, I reckon they would have I reckon yeah. there's 800 points yep so you can just buy one of them yep you're done yep you're done I don't know what they'll be in AUD 269 dollars recommend retail sure guff 229 yeah and I feel like uh, throw the dice price matches as well probably they'll do the same yeah yeah so 229 so it's yeah it's basically your combat patrol price yeah yep. from say games workshop yeah but you get a full yeah, army true Instead of a quarter, a quarter of, of an army. yeah, yeah, bloody oath. Uh, maybe pss, uh, not a similar model count at all. You get way more in the you do. Star Wars Legion stuff. So I am going to get my Imperials ready to make it to throw the dice's Legion night. Yeah, awesome. Which is what Thursdays? Yeah, I'm actually going to this one in two days from us. And four days next. It's your first day of shift, though. You shift. won't be there. Yeah, That's okay. Yeah, yeah. That's no, all right. We'll go to the one after. I'll that. get more practice so I can then teach rules. Yep. Uh, which I feel like I almost could already, which yeah, after yeah. two games of a really complicated war game is amazing. Yep. I mean, there's a heap of stuff I don't know, but the reference, the rules reference, which is free, yep. uh, is awesome. So mm. nice. where'd this pen come from? You found it. Nine out of ten <laughs> is what I would give it at the moment. Um, <sighs> well. So, yeah. Awesome. Lo- loved it. Mm. Highly recommend it. Uh, yeah. Yep. We've got a Discord channel for it. We do. Uh, so jump in there if you yep. want to... Talk Legion or be convinced into yep. it. You can find links for our Discord and hobbyhobbies.com. Yeah. As well as links to all other stuff as well. Merch as well. Patreon. Hey, we're all wearing merch today. I got the hoodie. Yep. I got the uh, the alternate logo T. Yeah. Long sleeve. Rolled up. Yep. And Churchy, come on Churchy in here. Got the, Crab oh, walk in here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Nice. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know how much that is, but for you, it's whatever it says. It's priceless. It's priceless. <laughs> it's absolutely priceless. Hey, our giveaway this month is a merch pack. It's a merch pack, yeah. It will be on the Facebook as of this episode coming out. Yeah, sweet. So like the post, tag a homie. Do you You think? will get yourself a shirt, a hat, some range finders, some stickers, yep. and other hobby homies goodies. You know how people are always like, hey, where's the nearest blah, blah, blah? And you're like, I don't know, Google map it. You don't need to. We've got a range finder for we you. we got a range finder. Yeah, you can you five exactly inches at a time. Range. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Five, three, two, and one. Yeah, all the th- numbers you need yep. to count to. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. Thanks for watching. Um, as always, thank you to our patrons for making this happen. Yep. Um, for as little as two bucks a month, you get early access to videos like this, to battle reports, and everything else we do on YouTube. Yeah. So if you would be so kind, please consider subscribing to that. Um, and of course, shout out to uh, Burnsy, Whack, Final Dinosaur, MJ, Lethal, Moose, Penny, Gridlock, and Battle Maps Jack. We got his uh, uh, Elko, <laughs> Churchy, Rad, Oliver, Hawkers, Agro, Foggy, Bravo, One Four, and Big. Big Roach. Thank you all so much. You're thank incredible. You. We can't thank you enough, but we still try. We still try. And we'll see you on the next one when we're talking about barbecues. Are they good or are they just fantastic? Great. Absolutely great. Stay tuned and find out. <laughs> see you next week. <laughs> hey, Roo. Hey, Roo. Woo!